We won't use the word center here. We will say it's a it's vertex. Yeah. And this is for x squared is equal to 4 a y, which is open upward. Yeah. And for this, the axis of the parabola is x is equal to 0. Yeah. That is the axis of the parabola. I'm writing it down. Axis of the parabola. And equation of the directrices. Equation of the directrices. Okay, its directrix is going to be capital D. Let me draw underneath it. This is equation of the directrix. Okay. And sometimes they'll ask you to find the length of the lattice spectrum. I'll show you what this lattice spectrum Length of lattice spectrum. Uh, this length of the lattice rectum is common for all the parabola, all the four types of parabola. It's simply going to be 4a. I'll tell you what is a also. So it's 4a. Length of the lattice rectum is nothing but it's from L1 to L2. But from here, if I assume this as the lattice 1 and this as the lattice 2, and this will be my maybe I'll draw. This will be length of the lattice structure. I'll equate this to four a. And you also have a coordinates for L one and L two. And what is this L1? This L1 is nothing but minus 2a comma a. This L2 is 2a comma a. Yeah. So if you, oh, I get it. So, A is like the in the 4AY, whatever that is. And yeah. these two, the distance between these two points yes. would be lattice the structure. 4 a. Length of the lattice structure. Yeah. An equation of the directrix for this parabola, I have drawn in the negative y axis. So so I'll assume this is y is equal to negative a. This is my equation of directrix. Oh. Then what about the focus? Focus would be 0, comma a. Oh, so 
what's so special about the focus and the directrix? Like, why can't you just put any line or any any point? Um, you are asking the difference between the uh, coordinates of the focus and the equation of the directrix. Um, no, I'm like asking. So, see, we're saying that the directrix is y equals minus a. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. what's what? Why can't we just go like, like? Okay, let's just take another line and then another point and then just go like oh that's the the that's the focus that's, the, that's yeah the, so like that's equal to negative a but a is nothing but focus oh so then what's special about this so instead of what's the difference between the directrix and another line another normal line why why is the directrix special okay so first of all, um, set of all points whose distance from a certain point is equal to the distance from certain line. The certain point here is called as focus and certain line here is called as directrix. I'll draw it and show it to you. Please note it on okay. and show me. I'll draw it and show you. Okay. Hello? Yes, dear. just a second. I just want to draw the reflection diagram so that we'll be able to uh, look at the parabola in a different way. Just a second. Okay. okay. the distance of every point on the parabola from its focus point and from its Directrix is always the same. Oh, okay. I get it. This is the relationship between the uh, focus and the directrix of the parabola. You take any point, uh, let me draw it and share. So if you have this, and then like this is the focus, and the line is this, the directrix, the length from this and this is the same. Yeah, 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 you, you, you got the point. 
Okay, it would be the perpendicular distance uh, or the shortest distance. Here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. okay. I also want to show the reflection that I have. Please wait. Assume, assume you are getting uh, some sunlight rays. Yeah. And you have a reflector, reflector which is in the shape of parabola. Let's assume this is the application of parabola. Okay. So okay. assume this is the parabolic curve, parabolic reflector. Okay. So these black lines are the uh, parallel rays of sunlight. So what happens when it, uh, maybe when the ray hits the parabolic reflector, once it incidents, again it uh, reflects back. Isn't it? it will get reflected. So again you will yeah. have another line, and it will be reflected. Over here again, I'll write in the different color. Again, you will have another rays of the sun and it will bounce back to the this point. Oh, so, so then that would be the, all the points will be emerge, all the reflecting points will emerge at one single point and call such point as the focus. So, this is yeah. going to be your focus of the parabola. And then the directrix would be the line where the the sunlight is coming from. Um, so like we can say that like you will be drawing a perpendicular line to to the sunlight. Like you will actually you you, will, you might be having vertex here, which means you will have here maybe. Oh, okay. Oh, if you keep on continuing the line, it will go exactly. there. Exactly. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay, I will also uh, send you. Have you ever heard about this? Uh, um, 
parabolic mics and all that, uh, like the big telescopes. I will show you. I'll show you the picture. Maybe you'll get one. Okay. Okay, the very basic example. Uh, we do have our dish. Have you ever seen this dish? Uh, the satellite TV provider. Have you ever seen that? Um, yeah, it's like the where the telephone and stuff coming from. Yes, yes, yes. One minute, I'll just show you. But actually, it looks like this. Isn't it? You'll have a focus point. Like the dishes will be like that. The signals will be. The signals will yeah. be sent, and again, it will, all the signals will be emerged at the focus, and that will be directed to your TV. It's satellite television receivers. Yeah. That could be one of the example of the uh, parabolic uh, geometry. Do you, can you uh, think about any other real world applications of parabola? Um, I know if there's like, can I draw it? Sure. Okay, so if I just and clear. Okay, so. Let's say you're on like uh you're in the grass, right? And you throw a ball. And like or let's say you're in a building and then you throw the ball. Okay. And like okay. a a very bouncy ball, right? Okay. And the building is here, right? And you then throw the ball. And from the very top, right here. Okay. You are at the top of the building and you're throwing a ball. Yeah, right here. You're okay. this is you. Okay, the block okay. black okay. box, right? Then you throw the ball from here, and it goes down to the floor, mm -hmm. and then it bounces back up. Okay. And that's your parabola, and I guess it will fall down like all of a sudden to the bottom, but after that it won't be. But yeah. Okay, so there you observe this parabolic curve nature. Yeah. Yes, you can say that. Okay, so I have uh, drawn this thing in the uh, board about the upward one. I'll send you the formula sheet uh, for the remaining tree. It is in the uh, table uh, format. You can refer to that easily. I'll share you in the box. Okay. Um, can you also send the the video that you showed me with the conic sections? A three D video, definitely. I'll share it. And uh, what about the recordings that you did last class in this class? Yes, yes. Actually, I have uh, updated in the YouTube. I will send it to you. I'll send you the link. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the last Bye. class one, I'll send it by today. Uh, for this yeah. class, maybe uh, it will take some time to upload. If it's upload today itself, I'll send it to you tonight, or else I'll send for this class one day tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, dear. Okay, so we shall bye. The discussion next week. Yes, bye, dear. Bye. Take care. Okay, bye. Have a great day. Yeah, you too.